Hi there. <clears throat> this is Dr. Rumbody. We're going to take a look at the uh, uh, Project 10, which is where you will actually create classes. And uh, as you can see from the project description, there are uh, two files to be handed in. Um, I'll tell you right now that one of them is called Play Hangman. The other one is called Draw. Leave the drawing stuff for last. You can play this game without the drawing. Do that first, then do the drawing. And, and I, I think that's the, the smart strategy uh, to do with this. A uh, few, few things. So we give you, uh, we give you a game.py file. That's, that's the driver of the game. You don't have to write that. You use that. So download it and use it. And, and that, that also gives you clues about how you write these classes. Um, so the first one we're going to start with is the... Uh, the one that is uh, called Play Hangman, and that goes inside the playhangman.py file. Uh, the classes always have uh, an init in it, so we're going to start with that. We tell you some uh, uh, attributes to, uh, uh, that you need to specify. Um, and there will be others below that also need to be specified in here, but we didn't specify them all. Uh, you, you'll add those to this as you go along. Uh, and I'll also take a look at a, uh, uh, a couple of these. The, there's the, um, uh, just to give us something to play around with, we'll look at the uh, start round and play letter. Uh, just so that we can actually uh, do a little bit. And I'll show you how to do it without using the game.py. So with that brief introduction, let's take a let's take a look at how we might do that. So um, we have to make a class called Play Hangman. We have to put it in the Play Hangman uh, file. Uh, and what I will do now is do some of the you know the things that actually get specified. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so we have a few things uh, that, that I've typed in here. We've got part, part of this started. Uh, we are going to be doing drawing things with the turtle, so we have to import that here. Uh, we have class, and we have a name that we specify. Object is uh, what always goes in there. We double score, uh, double underscore init with a self, um, and we do two things. We have a screen and a pen. This allows us to uh, actually delete the screen at the uh, end of the game, and uh, this is the drawing that that will actually be doing. Remember in Hangman. Uh, you know, the first mistake that you make, you draw a lay, uh, part of the scaffold, uh, then you draw the second one, and then the third one, and then you get the arm, and, and gradually uh, you, you end up with a bunch of guesses, and, and that's the drawing part. We're not going to do that part. Let's play the game without the drawing and, and just keep track of things. Uh, these uh, we give you a sample that actually has all the drawing of the pieces in it called turtle.testing and you'll see how to use the screen and the pen and how to close things off in there. So, so the main part of that file is uh, important to look at in terms of clues to how to do this. Uh, the other is that uh, the word list uh, eventually we're going to read that from a file and, and we give you the, the uh, file name. Uh, but to start with, you know, that's going to create a list of words. So let's start with a list of words in here. Um, I'll just have a couple here. I'm, I'm using some that have uh, uh, letters appearing twice just because uh, that's a little more interesting in terms of developing it. So those are the three things that we specify that you need to do. Now, every, if you look at uh, if you look at the game.py, you will see that um, it starts with a um, 
you know, what, what does it start with? It starts by, first of all, uh, setting up a game from Play Hangman. And, and, and then, we, then we have a, a loot, depending on, you know, it keeps, uh, we can keep playing the game. And the first thing we do is we start a round of the game. So, so we're, we're going to need that one. And then, you know, we're going to go through and keep guessing letters. Uh, so we're going to need the uh, play letter. There it is there. Uh, so those are the two that I'm going to take a look at. We, we set things up and then we start playing with the letters. All right, so in our play hangman here, so we need to start the round. Now in here someplace we're going to have to call the drawing routine. Uh, and uh, in order to do that, we need to uh, we we will have to have from the draw hangman file. We will call the draw hangman instance to uh, create one of those. That means that we need to have draw hangman up here. So we'll need to have that in there. But what I strongly encourage you to do is uh, not do that yet, because that's the drawing part. We can leave the drawing for later. Um, do this in pieces. So I'm going to comment that out. Uh, the index is done randomly. Uh, so that means we need to import random up here. But again, I, I'm not going to uh, I, I, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to give it a value of one, and I'll leave it for you to uh, do the uh, random. I think I used randint out of random. Um, take a look at it. Play around with it in the uh, uh, in the shell. So randomly, I grabbed one. The index is uh, I'll call it one. Uh, and, and what do I need to do? Well, I need to have a uh, secret word. This is the, the thing that's, that, that we're trying to guess. And we're going to get it out of my word list. And we're going to get the one at a specified index. That's going to be done randomly, and I just have it as one. Now, every time I introduce a new variable down here, I want to instantiate it up in the uh, it, it turns out that I don't have to do this, but uh, it's a lot clearer in terms of understanding what gets used to you know what data attributes you have in your uh, in your class if in fact you initialize them all in the init like I said it doesn't have to be done it's a little bit cleaner uh, to do it this way so every time we have a new one and uh, it's very handy to have some print statements uh, and when I I like to add in there uh, the uh, the name of the method that I'm using and uh, while I you know just th this is just while I'm developing the code here uh, let, let's it's kind of handy to uh, actually print out the the secret word obviously it's not very much fun in terms of playing it uh, but uh, so you know, so what happens with my to start the round well I'll I'll get it I'll start a drawing I needn't need to grab a word that's to start it out. Should be done randomly. I'm just going to grab the first one, and uh, you know we can. Uh, you know that gives us the basis to get started with. We're going to need to add more to that, uh, and then we need to play a letter. Always have to have self in our methods. And let me double check. How does this get used? Uh, play letter. Okay, so uh, 
it looks like we're supposed to have let me get this here uh, yep we get play letter it gets a letter all right so we need to pass that a letter I'll just call it letter for right now all right so we get a letter um, now I need to keep track of the letters that have been used because that's uh, useful information so uh, you know let's keep track of the letters that are used and I'll do that as a string and we'll keep adding letters on there since I add things on there I have to initialize it up here So it's going to be initialized to be empty, and every time I get a letter, I am going to update, uh, keep track of the letters that I've used. Right? Uh, and it's useful here, I find, uh, to uh, maybe print out the, the uh, letter that I did. Okay, so that gives us a, a few things. Now, whenever I get a letter, you know, somebody's guessed a letter. Uh, is, it a, is it in my word or not? So let's check to see if my letter is in my secret word. And if it is, what do I want to do? Well, first of all, let's make sure just print out some information. Uh, what do I want to say? Uh, the letter is in my secret word. And I'm going to have to do something about that. So what do I need to do? Well, I need to keep I need to update my current word. Which I don't have, so like all these others, uh, I'm going to initialize it to be empty. That'll be a string of the letters that I have in there. Now, uh, you have a number of choices. Uh, one, you know, so what do I do with this uh, current word? Uh, you know, as I'm guessing, letters they belong in particular places, and uh, you know, how am I going to deal with that? Well, that you have a number of choices. So, uh, for example, maybe when I start my round. I might want to say something like, oh, self dot double underscore current uh, word is a uh, bunch of dashes times the uh, length of my secret word. What in the world did I do there? Oops, got an extra, I'm getting some extra blanks in there. That, that's going to cause me uh, uh, trouble. Okay, um, so what in the world did I have there? So let's make sure we print this out. current word. Again, this is just debugging information. You know, this is the kind of thing yeah. Alright. Um, so we'll, we'll print that out when I have it and and that tells me a lot about how I'm going to update that because when I have a particular letter guessed, I need to put it in the right place, right? 
fix it up with things in the right place. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to leave that for you. What if it's not in there? Well, if it's not in there, then I have a miss. And one of the things I have to do is take my is keep track of misses. Oh well, if I'm adding to the misses, then I better have it up here. And my count, like any other count, will start at zero. So I update my misses. And uh, again, let's uh, Okay, um, and you will. Uh, this will actually be at the point where, if we are drawing, we're going to have to call the miss method uh, of the uh, draw hangman class. All right, that's where we would do it. But right now, um, uh, you know, I'm going to leave that for you. And again, you should leave that to the end. So there, there's two places that we did that. So there's a number of things here that uh, at the moment I'm, I'm leaving out. Okay, this here is supposed to be read from a file. But while you're testing your program, it's really nice to be able to just have a, a simple list there. Notice how I added these guys on as I put them down below. Uh, the drawing that initializes the drawing and here's where you call the drawing this these are the only two places that you end up in this class uh, interacting with the drawing of the class the drawing of the hangman um, and we'll leave that for, for later okay so we're, we're supposed to actually do our index randomly and uh, down here we actually we need to update the current word so there's a bunch of stuff here that I've left out for you to do, but the idea is to give you a little bit of a start here. So how, in fact, do I start this out? Well, if we look at the game.py, we see that I created a, uh, a hangman class that way, and then I called start round, and then I got a letter, and I called play letter. So those three things need to be part of my uh, my file so let's save this we're just going to run the hangman and so we will go we'll call it game equals play hangman like so all right it starts up a uh, um, a turtle and I, I could leave that since I'm not going to be doing any drawing um, for right now, I could leave that out, and, and in fact, I think I'm going to go and do that. Uh, I'm going to kill this by restarting the kernel there, and now that I see that that, that gets successfully created, we can now um, save that and not have that part show up. All right, so game equals uh, play hangman. All right, so now I have a game. All right, that's interesting. Nothing happened, and, and notice I can't look in there. So uh, uh, as one strategy you might, you might have is to leave out the double underscores, and then you could, in fact, look at uh, the state of things in there. But for right now, let's try this. Start round, okay? So that starts around, and notice uh, notice what I did here is uh, because I printed we know that in my start round uh, that okay so the word tool is the one that is uh, uh, has been selected and my current word at this point is uh, has four slots for the uh, uh, matching the four letters there okay now let's pick a letter so uh, that is the uh, play letter. 
and we need to give it a letter. Let's go O. All right, so we're going to play the letter zero, and we're, we we have it in the secret word, but we're not we're not doing anything with it. Okay, that's that's all right, uh, because um, we didn't implement that. But you can see how uh, how we're going out playing the game. Let's try a letter that's not in there. Okay, it said uh, that in fact we uh, we did update. You know, we can see that we got into the misses part. And so I'm starting to see how to, um, uh, you know, how this game can be played. All right. And I could put some more prints in there. But the important thing is that you can start to uh, play this game without even running the game.py. Now, one more thing that I can show you about that is that if you want to you could put all all of these methods in there uh, end of round uh, returns a a uh, boolean okay get current word uh, all these things um, I, I can just put a value in there or uh, I can you know if I just I'm just throwing some stuff here get current word uh, um, you know if I if I don't want to implement these yet I can just put the word pass in there and then Python understands that, yeah, you're leaving it uh, for later on. You can go through and, and uh, create a shell of all of those, and then you can call your game.py from that. All right, so there's, there's a, still a lot there for you to do. Uh, let, let me look, let me show you just uh, one more thing. So we give you this turtle.testing.py. Uh, you should run that. Uh, it has all the, we've already done all the drawing that you need to do to uh, uh, create this. It's got all the pieces in it. Um, and it even does how to draw, how to keep track of the state of things. Uh, notice in the main, it talks about how, you know, in the comments, it shows you how to do the, uh, create the screen, how to create the turtle and then the exit on clicks and when you have that in there <coughs> uh, that allows that gives you a way to just click on the uh, uh, the drawing and and uh, draw it so you can see how the hangman gets drawn here and it's waiting for us to click on it so I, you just mouse into the window and you click and boom it's gone and so you'll be putting that into your uh, into your project so hopefully that will give you a start on things. Good luck.